What up, y'all? Star Wars Steph here, and we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Unlimited market after the results of the Orlando 5K. Now, Darth Vader took down the whole thing, and so some of the cards that were in that deck are are fluctuating in price a little bit, and we're going to take a look at it. But first off, I want to take a look at the max rarity Vader leader that you can play. If you ask me, it's going to be this hyperspace version, and it's absolutely amazing. I think that even at $45, if you can swing it, you know what I'm saying, $45, $50, bucks, if you can swing it, it's actually a really good pickup. These were event exclusives. Only were given out, I think, at uh, a couple cons where you went to go learn how to play the Star Wars Unlimited game uh, before it was, like, released mass to the public, which is really, really cool. And... Um, yeah, there's only 12 listings of this, and I think these will dry up pretty quick, and uh, yeah, we might see them on the move. Now, Luke made its way into the top four of the Orlando uh, 5K, which is really, really cool. So uh, another card that is about a $50 card, but once again, if they don't give us showcase versions of these leaders, uh, these are going to be the max rarity versions of them, and we might see a little bit of movement on them eventually. And they look, they look really cool, if you ask me. So if you can't really swing the uh, Vader hyperspace, another really cool card is going to be this Judge promo Darth Vader. It's hollow. I mean, it has the same artwork as the one that you got in the pre-release kit. But yeah, these are these are pretty pretty sick if you ask me. Yeah, we got the Luke Skywalker as well. The Vader's twenty bucks. Luke is sitting at about a sixteen dollar card. And these are great options if you do want something a little blingy, not just the ones from the starter deck. It's a good way to go. Next up, uh, we have a card from the winning deck, Avenger. Uh, pretty much, it was Vader and Avenger. You just clear the board, that deck that Guy was piloting. Shout out to Guy. He's the winner of the 5K, the blue Vader. Um, yeah, you just clear the board until you can drop Vader, and then you drop Avenger, and keep on swinging from there. So this card, actually, Hyperspace has been a little bit expensive. It has been going up. It's about a $50 card now, um, which is crazy because the base rarity not hyperspace is a $45 card. So if you're in the hunt for an Avenger and uh, yeah, you want to spend the extra couple bucks, I mean, I would go with, I would definitely go with the hyperspace version of this card, especially if you're looking to build this deck and yeah, this, this card's amazing. Uh, next up we have Vigilance, which has been going up because a lot of the red, uh, blue items had been playing this card. Uh, so this card was, yeah, it's been on the steady incline, but it was a little bit cheaper a couple days ago, I'm pretty sure, or like last week or something. I don't know, this market's been absolutely bonkers. But yeah, you're looking at a $60 card right now, hyperspace card. Uh, the most expensive um, hyperspace double aspect uh, event that we have. Uh, and then if you're just looking at the regular Vigilance, this is gonna be a $45 card. Now this card has gone up quite a bit as well, especially in the last couple days, last week or so. And uh, yeah, this card's played in the Blue Vader deck. You're gonna use it, it's just an amazing control card. Even paying out of aspect for six is absolutely bonkers. Next up, we have Super Laser Blast, another card that was in that, uh, in the winning deck list. And yeah, you're looking at about a $45 card. This was 30 bucks a couple weeks ago. Like it's absolutely crazy. Um, this other Super Laser Blast was going a little bit crazy a couple days ago, right after the event. That was one that a lot of people were picking up, and it looks like it has kind of started to calm down a little bit. Yeah, so if you go back, I mean, just in the past couple days, we have a ton of sales here. Like, this is all from today. So this is a card that's moving. A lot of people are picking up their Super Laser Blast. I mean, defeat all units, what can you say? <laughs> and especially if a lot of people are going to be this this tells me a lot of people are going to want to start playing the the blue vader deck and this also kind of tells me that this is a market this market is a market for the players there's not much collecting going on here i mean of course people are collecting cards i have cards that i put away for my personal collection but uh yeah seeing this by this this volume of of sales on this card tells me that people are buying this are buying this to play it uh, next up is Fed's Fire Spray. Now, this card was like $17, I think, a couple days ago. If we take a look at the sales data and we head on down here, yeah, $25 uh, about six days ago. And now the uh, Near Mint version is sent at about a $30 card. So this card's been going up. It is the best spaceship in the game. I think this looks absolutely amazing in hyperspace. Um, yeah, what more can I say? And then we have Aggression. Now, people must be thinking, I, I mean, I know this card's been going up before that, but people are thinking that all the double aspect cards 
are gonna be good at one point, and they definitely are. This one, I, I can see the upgrade thing becoming more important um, heading into the next set as we get bounties, but I'm not sure how important bounties will honestly be. Bounties as, as upgrades, right? So I know that the Mando deck kind of capitalizes on upgrades, um, but I'm not sure that it'll be the best. So yeah, this card is a $38 card. It was just a couple days ago a $20 card. It is doubled in price. Yeah, just like, just like everything in this game. <laughs> Next up, we have Force Lightning. Now, this one's actually really interesting to me because the base, the base for this card is actually about the same price. And this one just looks, I mean, um, unlimited, unlimitedly better. <laughs> uh, yeah, it just looks, it looks a lot better. Sorry, I tried to throw an unlimited power reference in there. You know, I love, I love saying that. Next up, some cards that are a little bit expensive that you might not know you have. We have the Jedi Lightsaber Hyperspace. Now, this was actually about a $17 card a couple, a couple days ago, but it has since gone down. Um, that just goes to show you, you know, people were gonna buy out a bunch of cards. You possibly could wait till it goes down. But something like this, yeah, I don't think this is going down anytime soon. This is crazy because Sabine obviously was really good. It was first after Swiss. Uh, this is the max rarity version of this card. Um, and it costs, it's a, it's a hyperspace rare and it costs about as much as some legendaries. Uh, and if that wasn't bad enough, you got K2, but like right, right there with them, right there with them. So these are some hyperspace legendaries is what we'll call them, some pseudo hyperspace legendaries. Sitting at 35 for the K2 and the red one, the red three is sitting at about 41 bucks. Um, another card that's pretty expensive that you might not know you have uh, approaching uh, legendary status is gonna be the hyperspace. U-Wing Reinforcement. Now, don't even get me started on some of these Hyperspace Hollow versions, but uh, Hyperspace seems to be what people love the most. Next up, we're going to take a look at Lieutenant Childson. This card was monumental in winning uh, the whole, taking down the whole tournament. Yeah, and it is went from a couple dollar card, uh, yeah, just uh, four days ago, it was, a, it was a dollar card, and now it's a six dollar card. So if you've been hoarding these, <laughs> you, you have come up. All right, so taking a look just at some of the other legendary cards. Luke's still coming in at about 60. Boba Fett's kind of tailing down a little bit. Millennium Falcon's headed down a little bit from where it was. Hyperspace Cunning kind of staying where it was. Yeah, the, this Millennium Falcon's actually going down to the regular version. Uh, Command was like a $40 card a couple days ago. And if we head back to the first page where we have all of our showcases, yeah, these are holding strong uh, at... Yeah, Boba's about to be a thousand dollar card. Um, Han and Leia and Palp have decided that they are now um, a sub one thousand dollar cards, above above eight hundred dollar cards, um, which is crazy to me, right? Because Iden, Sabine, those are two of the better decks. Uh, Leia is is actually becoming a really good aggro deck, but I think it, I think it has to go, do with a lot of the um, the artwork is probably the best on at least the Palp and the Leia. Obviously, the Boba Fett is what it is. Everybody loves Bobs. Booster boxes sent at 260. Those are still going to go up a little bit more. Um, Vader's trailing down a little bit. They were to 100s. Now they're 93s. And Hyperspace Luke's trying to stabilize as the second most expensive Hyperspace Legendary in the game. All right, I ain't going to take up too much more of your time. Thank you, everybody, for showing up and showing out. And until next time, peace.